Here I'm going to give you some pointers that are going to help you succeed in a stats class. We're not going to talk about concepts, we're not going to talk about equations, I'm not going to get into what stats is, but I just want to prepare you if you've enrolled in a stats course, if you're thinking to, or even if you're already in a stats course and you're wondering how can I do better in statistics, you're going to need to put a lot more time and a lot more effort than you're used to in your average classes. So the first thing that I would suggest you do is you need to keep up with your stats class. This isn't the type of class that you can leave it behind and catch up next week. And the reason that is is because statistics continuously builds upon itself. So whatever you learn in lecture one is going to be relevant all the way to the end lecture. And if you don't understand lecture one, you're not going to be able to understand lecture two and so forth. So what that means is you have to keep up with your statistics. And if you don't, you're going to fall behind. So you need to make a plan for yourself to make sure that you're always ready to learn and you already know everything you should know going into this lecture or this reading or that homework. The second thing you need to do is prepare for class. And again, you've heard this before where people say you should be reading the you know textbook beforehand and the lecture slides beforehand and so forth. And for a lot of classes, in honesty, that's not very necessary. It's helpful, but it's not always necessary. In statistics, it is. So statistics is complicated. You're going to be talking about these abstract concepts that you're not used to and these detailed equations, and you're going to be using them in class. And your professor, because they don't have enough time to teach you everything they want, are going to be rushing through this. They're not going to be able to spend too much time if you're confused. So what you need to do is prepare yourself for the lecture. So read any readings that you should have read for this lecture. Make sure you read any slides or notes that the professor provides you. And you don't need to do this to the point that you already know everything in these things, but just reading through it and getting an idea of what you're going to be covering in that day helps you in a few different ways. The first way is that you just kind of know what's coming. You know that this is going to relate to that next topic because you kind of briefly understood what that meant. So now it's going to help you build upon that knowledge that you've really just subtly put into your brain. But the second thing is it's also going to reduce your stress. Now stress is a big factor with learning. If you're stressed, you don't learn as well. And if you're in a class where your professor's rushing through these complicated abstract concepts and these complicated equations, you're going to get frustrated, especially if you don't know what's going on or if you have no idea at all. What you need to do is you need to be proactive. You need to be able to understand these concepts at least a little bit ahead of time or at least know what's coming to reduce your stress and be able to learn better. So it's important to do your readings and try and get ahead before class, but it's also very important, obviously, to go to class. So go to class, listen, be attentive, make sure you've had anything that'll increase your attention like food or water, keep yourself nourished. So make sure you're ready to learn in class. And then finally, and I know students don't like when I say this, but after class, try and read your notes and your professor's notes and the textbook again. Because what that does is it gives you three different opportunities to learn that material all at once. So before the lecture, you're trying to learn a little bit of the concepts just so you know what's coming in the lecture so you're trying to get a good grasp of what these concepts and equations mean then after the lecture you can start really honing into the details of this and then you're going to pretty much be studying as you go but of course later especially coming up to exams and stuff you need to review that material and learn it again and you do that also with your homeworks and your assignments and your projects or whatnot so to reiterate, make sure that you're learning before class, during class, and after class. The last thing about statistics is you need to approach statistics differently than a lot of courses that you're involved in. And what I mean by that is even though statistics has a lot of memorization and learning concepts, it's actually a skill. Courses are often just knowledge courses, so you're learning these new knowledge, these new concepts, but statistics is actually learning a skill. What that means is you need to practice that skill to be good at it. And if you're going through your homeworks and you're understanding everything and you know what to do 
and you know what comes next and you understand the questions, that's great, but that's still not enough. And what I mean by that is statistics exams are really difficult and the reason they are is because there's so much work crammed in such a little time. Specifically, lots of students have trouble finishing these statistics exams in the first place, especially exam one. It's not rare to see more than half the class unable to complete the exam because they weren't fast enough. So it's not enough to just understand the concepts and understand how to use these equations and be able to do that, but you need to practice it so that you're not only confident with them, but you're also quick with it. And that includes things like your calculator. I know a calculator, we've been using it since we were young, but if you don't know where this button is and that button is, and you're searching your calculator, that's wasting valuable time that could be put into a potential question that you wouldn't get to if you run out of time. Or even if you can speed it up fast enough, there might be opportunity at the end of your exam to go over your questions and look for any sort of calculation errors or if you misinterpreted something. So when you're practicing, and again, practice over and over and over again. I have another video as to how you can create your own questions using Excel. So if you're running out of questions to practice on, you can use Excel and generate your own. But as you're practicing, think about everything you're doing and see if there's any places where you're wasting time. And I'm even talking about wasting a second here and there. Because a second here and there does add up. And if you have lots of little things that take a little bit longer than it needs to be it's going to add up and you're going to be losing minutes in your exam and that could be the difference between completing your entire exam or at least doing another question or having the opportunity to review the answers you've provided so to wrap all of that up there's three really important things to do in a statistics course but first i want you to remember that this course is not going to be like your normal courses that you're used to so you do need to approach it in a different way you need to approach it as it's going to be a difficult course that's going to take a lot of your time and a lot of your effort. The first thing you need to do is you need to keep up. As soon as you're falling behind in this course, it just crumbles beneath you and it's going to make it exponentially difficult to catch up. So you're going to need to keep up with the course because it continuously builds upon itself. The second thing to remember is to continuously give yourself the opportunity to learn. And what I mean by that is to be proactive. So read your textbooks and your notes and everything you can prior to a lecture and then make sure that you're ready to learn for that lecture and then review all the material after that lecture. That's going to give you right away a really good leg to stand on for learning statistics because it's complex and it's difficult and if you're preparing yourself at each possible opportunity you're going to succeed. And the third thing you need to do is make sure that you're practicing so it's not difficult for you in the sense that you need to remember what comes next. You should know exactly what's coming up next. And you shouldn't have to think about it. You should be going right into it. So you start here and then you move here and then you move here. No questions. And an example of this is the equation sheet that you get with your exam. So a lot of professors give an equation sheet with everything that you need to use on your exam. Now it's a great resource in case you forget anything, but Really, every time you flip back to this equation sheet and back to your question, you're wasting time. So if you can memorize it, not only is it going to help you save time, but it also is going to mean that you understand the equation and the concepts a bit better. So do everything you can to ensure that you're confident and quick in your exams by practicing, practicing, practicing.